Hi, I'm Keith Epstein. I'm Managing Editor at iWatch News at the Center for Public Integrity. And I'm here today with Ronnie Green, who's an investigative reporter who covers the environment. You've written most recently now on communities that are getting upset about something else, something that seems, from all appearances, to be green, biomass. There are a number of plants going up across the country. Many of those are being fueled by federal tax dollars that help companies build these plants. And also the idea that biomass is green and it's a greener, more efficient way to produce power. But the collision comes in where a lot of communities across the country think that these plants are not so green. So what you'll see is pretty much every time a biomass plant is proposed for a community, local politicians and chambers of commerce are very enthusiastically supporting these plants, saying it's good industry, it's jobs, and it's green, but residents are not so sure, and there's a big backlash against plants across the country. Are they successful in these this resistance? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Really the biggest loss for, for critics of these plants came in January when the EPA decided to put off for three years deciding on whether to regulate biomass greenhouse gases as other facilities will be regulated. Some residents and advocates say, hey, you should be regulating that right now. Other cases, they've been successful in stopping plants. There's one company that had three plants proposed, one in Washington State and two in Florida, but amid community protests, they've canceled two of those plants and have a third one on hold. So there's a fight really every time one of these plants go, goes up or is, is on the drawing board. Now, in your story, you wrote about some plants in California, I think, um, where there are some problems with violations of air quality standards and that the feds are taking them on. Um, how can that be at the same time that Washington is actually promoting biomass? That's really sim symptomatic of this collision um, of interest and perspectives. They were pitched as, hey, this is a greener form of producing power, and they produce power by burning woody waste. What we find out two years later, a little more than two years later, is these plants had been dropping the ball as far as following the rules they were supposed to follow. The EPA and the local pollution district in California issued dozens of citations for essentially polluting the air, which is what these plants are not supposed to be doing. For me, that raises a couple of questions. One is the EPA has really been supportive of this industry, but on the other hand, here you have the EPA leading a huge fine against the industry for polluting critics, and that is both residents and advocates who are fighting these things full time, will point to that and say, hey, these plants can be as dirty as other power plants that we've historically fought as well.